Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anni. Meow meow. In the last episode, we went around to a lot of places of water. Mm-hmm. And fought two headless? Yes. In the last episode? Yeah. Um, this episode, we're going to be going around to more places of water and diving and see what we can find. I think we were able to name about seven places that we could think of off the top of our head. So there's going to be quite a few places to go. Before that, though, I did a bunch of farming. I wanted more divine confetti. Biggest of all, I wanted money because I wanted to buy the other mask fragment. I was just going around farming when I found this memorial mob. This is abandoned dungeon entrance, which I think is under Ashina Castle. Yes. I think you get here after you fight the couple wolves and like the person out here with the bell. Yeah. yeah. So it's in here and this is the one with the mask fragment that I couldn't remember. And okay. I looked at it and it turns out it costs five fucking thousand sen, <laughs> which is a lot. I mean, that is an absurd amount of money right now. <sighs> so I did a crap ton of farming for Sen. It probably took me a couple hours. I got a bunch of divine confetti just kind of as a nice side bonus and a bunch of crafting stuff and whatever else I got. And I also got a ton of experience, too. I wasn't even thinking of that, but I have six skill points, which I think is the most skill points I've ever had in the entire game. I'm excited when I get to three. So every time I did a huge pass on an area after killing as many as I could and then popping a wealth balloon and just collecting everything, I would go to whatever memorial mod people I could find and buy bags of money. So I have two bulging coin purses, seven heavy coin purses, and six light coin purses. Whew. I need 5,000 to buy it. 2,000, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to use six of these. Right? I don't know. I don't, I don't do math. I think five, and then I could use some small ones, I guess. Yeah, just one small one will be enough. Psh. Psh. I still have a good amount of money left over. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. <clears throat> Mask fragment dragon mm. fragment of an old dancer's mask the original must have been broken into several pieces and this fragment appears to be a decoration at the top of the mask and i think she we said, uh, already uh, had uh, like uh, the left or the right one yeah <clears throat> is it a key item yeah right dragon who knows how many other pieces there are at least the left piece obviously yeah I wonder, how do I do something with them? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll figure it out when the time comes. Yeah. Kyle, I'm looking at that red and white pin feel, and I'm so happy we had the happy Kotoro ending. Yeah. Oh. Um, let's go ahead and spend the six skill points. So, I'm going to spend it on the hardest to get thing, the thing that costs the most skill points, which is this. This super combat art. Going to take all six of them. Acquires the combat art Shadow Rush, the secret technique of the shinobi style devised by the great shinobi himself, unleashes a long-range, powerful thrust, then use the impaled opponent as a platform to vault into the skies. Be as an owl on the hunt and take to the skies after stabbing your prey. Spirit emblems are consumed when leaping. Left and right perform a long range rushing thrust attack. Upon connecting with an enemy, a wolf will jump off of them, leaping in the air. Leaping in the air costs spirit emblems. Uh, hold down to perform. Whoop. Hold down to perform shadow rush attack with extended range. Okay. Should I go with this? Sure. I should, right? Yeah. I just can't help but think, like, I could also get more effective medicine, but, like, that's not as exciting. It's not as exciting, is it? Let's get it. And let's go try it right now. Fuck yeah. 
Mm, two spirit emblems. Oh, I actually got a bunch of spirit emblems just from killing enemies. Oh, I noticed. Yeah, sometimes, I, I think for the most part, I've forgotten that you actually do sometimes get spirit emblems from killing enemies. I didn't buy them, I just got like 100 plus. Nice. Which, considering how many hundreds and hundreds of enemies I killed, actually isn't very much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I think this might be, like, the one enemy in the game with ill-fitting armor, by the way. They don't even have armor, though. They do. A tiny, tiny little crappy ill-fitting thing on their chest. You see it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Alright, little spear him, I guess. Alright. Okay. that hit him? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see if it doesn't seem very effective against this enemy, but maybe it's not good against single big opponents. I don't know. Mm. Damn. I'm trying to think, what's the advantage of being in the air? I can't say off the top of my head. I can do. Oh. I thought I was gonna get a, like, falling. Uh. Death blow. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'll try it out against other enemies. I'm definitely going to try it. And not just leave it because that was expensive. <laughs> yeah. I've got the crafting material for three or four upgrades. Only four of them I actually want because I don't want the Sen throw. Because I kind of need my Sen. So I don't want to <laughs> throw them. <laughs> Doesn't seem worth it. Um, but I only have the money to get one of them. So it's down between the Spiral Spear or the Sparking Axe. I'm going to get the Sparking Axe. The Spiral Spear seems to be a upgraded version of the Spear Thrust type. It's also a Thrust type, but I think it just does more damage. And the Sparking Axe sounds really cool. A loaded axe with an attached percussion hammer to create flame. Mets out attacks bathed in flame from the axe's blade. Hitting the Sparking Percussion Hammer causes a violent eruption of flames and increases the effective area of the attack. This is both firearm and heavy axe. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that sounds super cool. Oh, hold on. What did that just give me access to? This? Purple. Uh, what is that? Fulminated mercury. Never seen that. <laughs> yeah. Just in case you were curious, by the way, the person that we trained against that we killed in the last episode because they wanted us to, there's nothing left where they were. No trace yeah, of They them. wanted us to. It was consensual. It yeah. was consensual murder. Yeah, it was. All right, let's try this axe out. So I'm just going to press it, not hold it down. That's Damn. fucking awesome. And then I think if I hold it down, it's... It's going to do the uh, whirlwind, right? AoE? Yeah. <clears throat> fucking awesome. Fuck yeah. Between that and the follow-up, I can do three flaming attacks. One, two, three... The only the one on the hits the ground has the explosion, mm. but that's fucking cool. While I was farming, I also noticed that there was a place that I missed. This is the old grave sculpture. If you remember, there's like a freshly dug grave over there. This person here who used to be hard, but now is trivially easy. <laughs> and then there's like the two gunners or bombardiers, whatever they are in the towers down there. Um, but I noticed that there's some of those short-statured assassins down here in this building. And you can just drop in from the roof. Hmm. 
Wait, can I talk to you? That oh. Hi. Oh. Looks like they're the last one left alive. Oh. What is that noise downstairs? Oh, yeah, also this. Ah! Just getting sugar, leave me alone. <laughs> They can't reach me. I know, right? <笑><笑>おめえはよたかの衆かいいよまあそうだろうな風情が違えだがどうやら同業だ俺は黒笠の無事なおめえは あいつのないこった。しつこいお手に仏頂面の忍び。足名の連中も外で騒いでな。まったくいい日だね。お主抜け人か。ま、そんなところだ。ところでよ。ちょっと銭が入るようなんだが。Same. Are they a shopkeeper? Well, let's talk first. Oh。俺の見立てによるとだ。お目にはこの鉄線なんざ似合うだろうよ。こいつがありゃ嫌でも鉄砲でもなんなら大筒だってなんとかなら。Mmm, they sell that super rare candy that I think I've only gotten one of and never used. The one that basically halves your vitality and posture but makes you do super damage. Yeah. <laughs> iron Fortress. An iron fan made in the far west. Can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Hmm. Mm. Experienced iron ribbed fan users. <laughs> Experienced iron ribbed fans can deflect arrows and even bullets using this tool. Passed down through generations of assassins serving Senbo Temple, it wouldn't be surprising if the next owner decided its weight was impractical. I don't understand the point. Well, okay, I guess it might protect me against, like, explosive shots. Mm -hmm. Which my sword currently can't, but my sword currently can already deflect bullets and arrows. Yeah. It seems of super, super limited use. Hmm. It is relatively cheap. I can't say I really want it, though. Does it use spirit emblems? I think it has to, because it's a prosthetic tool, right? Hmm. Anti-air death blow text. Technique which serves a shinobi who is not bound by the earth in battle. Leap towards an opponent who has exposed himself in midair and strike, killing him before he hits the ground. That sounds super cool. Ooh. I, man, that'd be hard to use, I imagine, but it sounds like you basically get a free death blow? Midair? Hmm. Can you use that on bosses? I doubt it. Um, hmm, I might have the money for that. Do I? I don't think I do. No, no way. 1,200? No, I've only got 500 worth. Okay. Well, I'll definitely be coming back to them. Uh, hold on. Is there something down here? Because I heard weird noises. Oh, maybe it's you. Now that I've got so much Divine Confetti, let's take on the Forest Headless. So I've got all three things going on. Pacifying Agent, Aqua Sugar, and now Divine Confetti. Let's go. And let's try this. I mean, kind of cool, I guess. Sure. Oh, you terror. Oh, <laughs> 
basically nothing. Confetti. Gachins, unlimited invisibility. Hell well, yeah. near invisibility. Feels good to have those down. Yeah. Now I can enjoy my sweet purple sword. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Gay rights. Yeah. Back to exploring the water now. So this is literally the beginning of the game. Remember this bit of water over here? What's in here? Hmm? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Where did this lead again? Aban oh, right. The abandoned Wasn't dungeon. Wasn't there more water here? Mm, yeah. Oh. What's that item? Huh? Okay. How did I miss that? Huh. So there's also the underground waterway sculpture in the abandoned dungeon. If you remember this area. All the zombies that we now can permanently kill. Oh, huh. right. Oh, hello. Money, Ooh. money, money. God knows I need it. Must be funny. Oh, passageway. Oh, that's the good shit. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna go back there in a second, but... I think this part is the unexciting part, so I want to explore the rest of it and then do the secret passageway. I think that's the end? Yeah. God, this is so cool. Isn't it? This is such a good fucking game. the other side of this person oh remember we saw like loot behind their legs but didn't know how to yeah. get there just you fall in the button oh nasty uh, this is where the surgeon's been doing some surgery i think uh. oh huh? an old note left by the surgeon dosako my disciples have abandoned me for dogen unwilling to dirty their own hands they all left me for that hypocritical quack Dojin, my last disciple. Even if I die, the research must continue. 
finish the procedure for Ashina's shake. Ashina's shake. <laughs> Ashina's sake. Dosaku. Hmm. So Dojin is this person right in front of the grate. The only one that hasn't abandoned them. Hmm. Who is Dogen? Again, is that the person who trained uh, the sculptor or worked with the sculptor? Um, yeah, they were the sculptor's gay lover and hmm. kind of a father figure slash teacher to Emma. Ah, right. Ew. It'll be like, knock, knock. <laughs> Hi. Surprised to see me? Okay. Now let's check out the water at Ashina Castle. So there's all these weird waterways that we explored that had nothing in them. Well, I think we're about to find out that they do have something in them. Is that a spirit emblem? Yeah. Yeah. Very algae. Ooh. Very green. Treasure Corp scale. I guess because this is like um rock. So it gathers algae. Yeah. As opposed to something more natural. Yep, just had to go down. Oh, ho, ho. I think this is just the other pond. Oops. Yeah, isn't there an enemy up here? Just there. Oh. Because I'm remembering on that there's like one enemy in this area. I still don't know what this area is for. Hmm. Huh. It really seems like it's supposed to lead somewhere, but... It doesn't. Is there a <sighs> grapple point up there? I'm not seeing anything. I doubt it. Okay. Okay, I got a bunch of enemies after me. Uh, oh, they're not chasing. So I think this is the last bit of water. In the Sheena Castle area, this pond here. Oh god. Oh. Remember oh. that thing we could target? It was like, what is that? Oh, oh my god. Is that a headless? Oh my god. Is that a... Oh. It is. Holy oh. shit. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. This is a very unique version of the headless. Underwater headless. Divine confetti up, bitch. Um... Hmm. I think I should kill all the fish, because they're going to try to attack me. That's true. Okay. God. This is really fucking cool. Yeah. Can I use Divine Confetti underwater? Hold on. Can yes. I? Oh, oh, nope. I can't. Can I use Divine Confetti and then pop into water? Or would it just like wash off or something? I guess you're going to have to try. <laughs> um, yeah, there's nothing I can use underwater but Healing Gourd and Homeward Idol. That might be on purpose. Because it only, it looks like it only has to be killed once. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, hmm. That canceled the boss fight. I think that would reset its health. Yeah? Meaning I can't, like, come up here to, like, use stuff and then go back down? So maybe you just have to do it in one go? Yeah, but I think one Divine Confetti has been enough for you so far. Yeah. 
Um, pacifying agent, two extra damage. And divine confetti. Yeah, it doesn't wipe off. Oh my gosh, so cool. What is that? Oh, your terror. I can't really do anything about it, though. That's true. Unless I abandon the fight. I think I just need to avoid these. Yes! Yes! Bish. I was hoping my massive damage would be enough to get me through, and it did! <gasps> Ungo Spiritfall. Uh, what is Ungo again? Reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. What a fucking cool mini boss. I like that yeah. they changed it up and it's not the same. That is really cool. Yeah, that is just super cool. Also fucking creepy that there's just a headless demon hanging out in the bottom of this <laughs> pond. <laughs> yeah! Heavy coin burst. That's 500. Mm. Oh my god. I want money. 1500. I need money desperately. Yeah, that's an interesting choice. It's really interesting. Because you only have to kill it once. So you don't have to endure the terror as much. And you have to do it all in one go. So you can only use stuff one time. Dive in. You can't do anti-fear anything. Except a bit of fear resistance from the taking it beforehand. Hmm. Could there be loot hidden in here amongst the reeds? No. God, yeah, this is super cool. This is a good game. Yeah. Hold on, I want to do something cool. No! <laughs> I can't walk through the... Alright. There we go. Sleep with the fishes, motherfucker. <laughs> That's what Sekiro would say, right? Yeah. Just came to the inner sanctum because I knew there was water around here, but it's just ankle deep. I can't dive, but I should ask for some rice. Oh, it's so fucking pretty there. Yeah. Not really? Oh. Wow, it's been a long time. Hmm. Maybe it's because you didn't thank them after getting to rice? Oh. You might be right. I need to be polite. Mm -hmm. Let's try the Koi Pond at Senpo Temple. What's at the bottom? Statue. Oh. This is really deep. Yeah, just a bunch of statues, huh? Yeah. I wonder if they, like, pushed him out because, you know, they were corrupted. Yeah, they're not about that life anymore. Oh, that looks very special. I'm so glad I made the decision to go everywhere underwater. There's so much cool stuff to find. Yeah. Next place to check is this area where we ran away from the snake. Oh, glad I turned around. <laughs> Treasure carp scale. I, got, I must have a lot of those now. Yeah. Oh, 
bulging. Oh. That's a thousand. Oh. Damn. C -c -c Combo. <laughs> Mantite scrap? You find the best stuff underwater. Mm. Next body water to check out is the one at Mibu Village. I'm expecting to find nasty stuff down here. Yeah. Like, maybe a headless underwater or something. <laughs> Would not surprise me. Together? Oh, is that a carp in this? Yeah, that one's a carp. And the others are like the bodyguards. <laughs> oh, no. Ew, what? what? I think it had red eyes. <gasps> yes, a carp that lived in the Mibu village pond. It has two red eyes. Carp with only eyes that are red cannot become masters. What does that mean? Though they're considered incomplete creatures that lack the ideal number of scales, their eyes are said to be everlasting. The researcher Dojin in the abandoned dungeon wants these eyes to improve his procedure. Okay, weirdo freak. <laughs> oh. Dojun, isn't that the person we talked to? Yes. But we haven't actually got to that point in the quest, so I guess they would have asked us to get these? Maybe. Oh. Uh, what? The entire floor. Oh. I like that. The entire sea floor. Is that fish? That's dead fish. And then lots and lots of. I still feel them as planted people. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. Oh. It's gonna be good shit. I haven't seen a chest in forever. Oh, bubbles come out even. That is so cool. Prayer bead. I have oh. four. This is so fucking creepy. I hate this. Yeah. There's even snails on its leg. Oh. Let's get some distance. I don't want to be touching the floor. <laughs> Okay, so we also have the upper one. How do I get back up? I guess over here. I know there's a grapple point. Oh. Hello? I feel like those respawn at will. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I can get back there from here. Wasn't this a place I couldn't get up? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, this was a place I couldn't get up. I'm going home. <laughs> Next, I think, last body of water that I can think of is the water just at the top of that waterfall. Let's use the prayer bead before I forget. Oh, yeah. Another one up the asshole. <laughs> That's our sixth. The centipedes will seek out a leader, often changing names out of loyalty. Centipede chiefs are known as long arms for their large talon-like weapons. Mm. Long arms. That's the name of the two bosses, right? Yeah. I think. I don't like that shit. <laughs> Me neither. Dislike. 
Oh, can I go down the waterfall? Oh, what? That's cool. What's not? <laughs> Is that a carp? I think so. Yes. Oh, you're going to have so many skulls by now. That's it for all the water. Yeah. Let's see how many scales we have and what we can get. Eight. Well, I guess I should get the... F Wait. Floating passage. Unleash attacks in a flowing dance-like form. Oh, no, that's not the thing I have. I don't have that. Yeah, so that'll give me a skill. Allows me to unleash attacks in a flowing dance-like form, overwhelming enemies in a fur of graceful aggression. This technique belongs to the Ashina Sword School, although it has been deemed heretical due to its foreign nature. So is that a combat art? Yeah, combat art. Let's grab it, right? Yeah. And uh, I guess just Divine Grass? Mm, I'm not going to get that, because it's a consumable and I haven't used the four that I have. But there's nothing else for you to buy, right? Yeah, but what if there's like another one of these creatures or somewhere else to spend these carp scales? Yeah, yeah. Just in case. Now that I've got all this money, I can afford those other upgrades. Let's get the spiral spear. Sharp thrust attacks from this prosthetic tool damage enemies' vitality and posture, even through their guard. The spear spiral creates a corkscrew shockwave that gouges and rends as it penetrates. And then also the piercing sabimaru. Repeated attacks with the newly sharpened edge of the blade will damage an enemy's vitality and posture even through their guard. Let's try out my two new prosthetic tools and my new combat art on these very, very, very easy enemies. So they're probably going to die with one use of anything. <laughs> um, should I try it first? Let's try the spiral spear. Yeah, this person up here likes to try to stab me with their spear. Here? Who? Where? Maybe they're further up. Huh? Yeah, I think they're further up. Anyway. So that's just one tap, is this. One tap. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> and double tap was the first one, the like ramming forwards. Mm. Yeah, isn't there a stabby dude up here? There's a stabby dude. Let's try the piercing Sabimaru. Well, that worked. They got poisoned. <laughs> yeah, and I think their vitality went all the way down before they even got poisoned. Yeah. All right, now let's try Floating Passage, the one I just bought. While well, in Ashina Combat Art, it was taught by an outsider and as such is considered heretical. The master of this technique crossed the Floating Passage and ascended to Ashina. Her name was Tomoe. Tomoe. I hope we meet her at some point. She sounds like a hot chick. Yeah. <laughs> We've heard them mentioned so much. Maybe we will. So left and right and then right, right. Deliver five dancing consecutive attacks. So if I just press left and right at the same time, just once to just initiate it once. One, two. One, two. It does two attacks. So I'm going to do it and then press right button two times after. That is cool. So yeah. it's... Yeah, so it's a group of... Two, and then another two, and then a big one. How, how cool can you do it? Can you just, like, do it infinitely? Like, really quickly? Eh, not exactly. There's a little bit of wait. Yeah. Oh, I can do it while jumping. Because I gotta remember, I can use both my prosthetic tools and my combat arts while jumping. Yeah. Pretty cool. 
pretty awesome, but you know, we'll have to see how it works on an actual, like, real foe. Yeah. These super easy dudes. Let's get him a carry counter and it's always fun. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah. Wedding cave time. Wedding cave. 